Buying a used mini excavator, inspection tips part 2. Examine the connecting points around the boom, stick, and bucket as the next vital task for you. They should be sturdy, with no movement or give in the ideal situation. It's also crucial to check that the accompanying bushings and pins are secure. Loose bushings and pins can cause a lack of accuracy between the bucket's real placement and the stick's position. Check for any fractures around any of the connection points, as these might be dangerous. Scalping has a significant impact on the cutting force of an excavator bucket. You should look closely to see if there is any scalloping between the bucket's teeth. Any bending under the bucket suggests that the equipment has been utilized for tasks that it was not designed for. It's best to stay away from machines that have been abused or damaged in this way. The machine's tracks must also be thoroughly checked, as replacement tracks can be rather costly. Tracks that are more than 50% worn should be avoided. Also look for cracks and uneven wear in the treads, as these are symptoms of more serious mechanical problems that can be costly to repair. Look for fluids under the sprocket or on the tracks to make sure the final drive seals aren't leaking. When inspecting the sprockets, keep in mind that in good condition, the teeth are flattened rather than pointed at the ends. Check for significant dents, excessive wear, rust, and repairs on the undercarriage. An excavator's undercarriage is important to its operation, therefore it is safer to avoid the machine if its undercarriage is uneven or too worn. Operational check of the excavator, after completing a comprehensive visual inspection, you must conduct an operational inspection of the machine. To begin, start by turning on the excavator and simulating a few digging cycles. Extend the stick, open and close the bucket, then swing the boom to check for inaccuracy and looseness. For more information call 214-773-0207 or visit selliarconstructionequipment.com.